Here I'm going to show you some little known tricks for printing in Excel. Before we start, check the video description and click the link to teach Excel so you can download the files for the tutorial and follow along. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. Now the first thing if you're going to prepare your workbook to be printed or your worksheet is go to the page layout tab. This right here in page setup and scale to fit and that's about it. That's where most of your options are going to be visible for printing. Now I'm not going to cover most of this stuff today. There's actually so much you can do with printing, but let's go with some little tricks. So here, first of all, I've got a worksheet with a chart. Now let's say you don't want to print the chart. The goal and the goal of this trick and many other tricks is you don't want to have to create a separate worksheet, copy and paste your data like this, and then just do that for printing. It's a waste of time, total BS. So when it comes to charts and other objects or images or shapes within the workbook, all you have to do is to format them so they don't show for printing. So we can go somewhere over the object, right click. This is format chart area, I believe, and in Excel 2016 and 365. And later we have this stupid little guy over here. This used to be a pop-up window that was a bit easier to work with, I feel like. But what you want to do is you want to go to this guy right here, size and properties. In the pop-up window, it'll be its own tab. And then let's see, where do we go? Properties, I believe. There we go, print object. So uncheck that and it won't show up. But first, let me show you that it does show up so you can see that it works. If we're in the worksheet and we wanna to go to print preview, just hit control P and you'll get to the print preview window. We can see the charts up here. And what you'd actually want to do if you wanted to print the chart, kind of a side note, because I'm not going to talk too much about it in this one, is go down here and change the orientation of the page from portrait orientation to a landscape orientation. And now you can see everything fits nicely on one page. But let's hit the escape key to go back. Okay, and go back here, format shape. We have to click the chart first. Okay, format properties uncheck print object, go back here, hit control P, and no more chart. We can go ahead and change the orientation back to portrait. Now we have only the data that we want to see. And remember this works for all sorts of things that you have in the worksheet, not just a chart. So any one of these objects that basically anything that isn't going to be placed inside of a cell. So if we went up here to insert, Let's get something, let's say a shape. Okay, just a square, doesn't really matter. Go to Control P, you're gonna see that right there. Right click, sized and properties. So these options will look different if it's a chart or an object or an image, but basically we wanna to go to size and properties for each one of them. So over here and scroll down to where it says print object uncheck control P once more and it's not there so it's easy peasy you don't have to change your worksheet too much for printing actually you don't have to change it at all everything in here still works the same so it's nice neat and simple now one great little trick that follows this one is how to center the data on the printed page so if we go back to print preview one way we can make it look better is if we center it we could add more data to it we could zoom into it we could do lots of stuff that are not going to be covered in, that is not going to be covered in this tutorial but let's work with centering it if we go down here to where it says normal margins then click custom margins we're going to get the page setup window and right down here center on page we can check next to horizontally and vertically and it's going to center our data so nice. So now all of our Excel cells are right there in the middle of the page. Let me go ahead and reset that now. Go back to custom margins, uncheck, uncheck. You don't want to do everything from the print preview window. That can be annoying. I mean, it's nice. You can see the changes very quickly and easily there. But if you're in the worksheet, you can get back to that window so easy as well. Go to the page layout tab and what Excel has done or what Microsoft has done is just put sort of the most often used options here but really if you want to do anything special or really good you have to click this little button right down here in the bottom right of page setup and that's going to open up the page setup window which is how you used to do all of this and so it's not as visual but it has a lot more options so we go to the margins tab and this is the window you just saw a moment ago 
So here we can click horizontally and vertically. You can see kind of a little idea of what it's going to look like here. You can change your margins as well. Hit OK. But you can see Excel itself looks the same. It only changes when we go to Print Preview. So Page Layout, little tiny button right here. Go to the Page Setup window, Margins tab, Center on Page horizontally and vertically. That is very easy to forget. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to make it so that Excel is not going to print errors. Let's say for one reason or another, we have a bunch of errors down here. You want to import the data, you're linking it to another workbook. Let's say these aren't actually, this isn't actually where the data is stored. And this row pulled in a bunch of errors that you don't want printed. Your boss is not going to like that. For the purpose of this, it doesn't really matter which one we're doing. So we could do divide by zero. We could do some name ones. Let's just copy this one over. So now we have some errors. And if we go to print it, I'm going to zoom in. We see the errors right there. So let's get Excel to skip them when they print. So what we're going to do is go back to the page setup window. Remember, that's where all the cool stuff is. So page layout tab, little tiny button right here. Then we want to go to the sheet tab. And this tab is where a lot of cool, useful little tricks are that a lot of people don't know about that are going to make your workbook pretty darn cool. So we go down to print and sell errors as. By default, it's displayed. But we can choose what we want. We can just say NA, little dashes, or blank. And let's choose blank and see what that does. Go down to, actually, we can just click print preview here to get there quickly. Scroll down and no errors. So it's a really nice way to only get the working, the useful data printed because it's a lot different when you have the errors in Excel. Yes, you want to see them so you can fix them and work on them. But once you print it, you just want the good stuff that's useful to the human eye and a bunch of errors is not useful. Now, let's say you only wanted to hide a couple errors or some specific cells even not just with some of the errors. Let's go back to page setup and show the errors. Sheet tab, display errors, okay. Now let's say we just wanna hide this first one, divide by zero, error, and let's say we wanna hide all of store one. So let's select store one, well that's a bad idea. Let's say store six, and divide by zero. Okay, it's gonna look weird when printed, but the point is to show you how to hide them, okay? <laughs> And this right here, what we can do is just make it the same color as the background. I use this trick for many, many different things. So if you've watched these tutorials, you've seen it before. It's a great trick. Make it white. Now you can't see it. Go to print, control P. Go down here. And it's not there. So it's an amazing way to just hide things for printing. But of course, you can get it back whenever you want. And you can change around the formatting so you can change how your spreadsheet looks just by hiding the cells. That way it's not printed. Everything is nice and happy. And you want to get it back really quickly. All you have to do is select the cells, change it back to automatic, and there you go. And that also works with hiding rows and columns. So if you want to hide a column of data over here, we can go ahead and hide it. And we'll see that March no longer appears. Okay, I'm going to turn off the centering. I don't want that right now. Okay, so March no longer appears. So this way, we don't have to copy and paste our data to another workbook or worksheet. We don't have to waste our time doing a bunch of crap like that. Just hidden. And if you want to unhide it, select the columns on both sides, right click, unhide, and we got it back. And you can do the same thing with rows. Right click, hide, then click rows on both sides, unclick, unhide, or right click, unhide. So same thing as with the columns. Now before we move on, I'm gonna go ahead and page layout, page setup. I wanna get those errors off. Don't like them. Blank, okie dokie. Now let's go over here to the data worksheet. And I'm gonna show you a cool little thing. So Excel prints in a certain direction, right? It has to choose if it's gonna print this over here and this or this one and this one and which way it's going to go. So let's say that, let's go to the view tab. So on the view tab, there are two great views for working with printed data. We have the page break preview. This one seems kind of confusing, but it shows you just the data that's going to be printed. 
and also has the pages. So you can see this is page one, and this part will be on page two. So you can see just how messed up your data is going to look while you're working with it and adjusting the margins. But you can also go to page layout, and this is where you can do things like add headers, add footers, see what it's, and see what it's actually going to look like when it's printed. Except for it doesn't print these grid lines here. So if you wanted to look a little bit more accurate, we could take the grid lines off because that's what it's going to look like when we go to the window to print everything. So one cool thing that I want to show you here is to change how it prints everything. So left to right or up and down. So if we, let's go ahead, we can do this from the normal view. I'm going to click right here above Q4 sales and I'm going to go to page layout and I'm going to go to breaks, insert page break. Now you're not going to notice anything here, but once we go back to view and page break preview, we can see page one, page two, page three, page four. So I've actually already changed this a little bit, but what we do is we go to the, to change the direction. So if it goes from one to two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, we go to the page layout tab. And of course we click the little button to get to the hidden options. And then we go to the sheet tab and down here, page order. You have down, then over, or over, then down. So if we do down, then over, this is, I believe, the default option. And it goes like this, where we have Q1 up here, Q2, Q3, Q4. But if we do over, then down, watch it change when I hit OK. It's now 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can change the way it prints. So you don't have to change the setup of your data. And that's a really awesome, helpful little thing. So right here, page setup, sheet tab, page order. And since I showed you how to add the margins, let's go ahead and, or the page breaks, let's go ahead and kill those guys. Really easy way to do that. Just click breaks on the page layout tab and reset all page breaks. And life will be normal, neat, and happy again. Now I'll cover page breaks in depth in another tutorial, but for now I just used it to show you how you, can how you can change the order of printing since this is kind of a smaller set of data. Now let's go back to our normal view, so view tab, normal, and I want to show you one more cool trick, which is that you can print the comments. So let's go to chart, let's say we wanted to add some comments like... Where do comments come from? Review. Okay, new comment. No, I think comments are now notes in 2016. Yes, very annoying. Messing with what used to work for years. So here is my note. Cool. And let's go here, new note. And remove the bold. Yet. Another note, look further into the numbers for store three. Okay. Now, if we go to print this, see it's just page one of one. Let's zoom out and you see nothing. So there's no indication even in here that there is a comment, but sometimes you want to print the comments now called notes because they are helpful. So page layout tab, of course, back to page setup, and then back to the sheet tab where all the really cool stuff is, and comments. We can print it at the end of the worksheet or as displayed on the sheet. So let's go ahead and choose at end of sheet, and then hit print preview. Now it looks like nothing happened. Let's zoom out, but notice we have two pages now, so one of two. Let's go to the second page, and here we have our comments. Zoom in, and you can see how they look. It'll tell you which cell the comment was applied to, and here, thankfully, they still call them comments, not notes. Here's my note, and then the second one, blah, blah, blah. So it's nice. You can have all of your data from the cells, and then look at the notes, the comments, to see if there's any further action that should be taken. So it's a great way to keep track of what you thought was important enough to make it a pop-up comment note in Excel. And yes, if you're in Excel 2016 or later, or at least 365, these stupid guys have been renamed to notes, or the old ones that were comments have been renamed to notes, and then we have the stupid, stupid, this new stupid thing 
called a comment, which is probably terrifically helpful when working in groups. I'm not going to cover it in this tutorial. I just don't like that they renamed what we've been calling comments for a million years. So anyway, I've digressed a bit there. But that's it for this tutorial on printing in Excel tricks or tricks on printing in Excel, whatever you want to call it. Just remember the number one thing you should get out of this first objects, right click them, go to formatting and then size and properties or to size and properties. And there you can prevent them from being printed. And on the page layout tab, click the little button down here to get to the page setup window. And this is where all the good stuff is, where all your options and the sheet tab has some of the most interesting options for changing how your data is printed. So that's what I'd like you to get out of this tutorial, and I hope you learned a lot. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.